COVID-19 pandemic has hurt the country's tourism sector and to help ease the pain, the government has injected a 6 billion shilling stimulus package into the sector. Also in a bid to promote tourism and hotels affected by the pandemic, Cabinet Secretary for Tourism and Wildlife Najib Balala visited the Taita Hills Wildlife Sanctuary in Saba West National Park. NTV's Bill Otieno has more. Taita Hills and Salt Lake in Savo Conservation Area are among the Kenya's safari lodges that will traditionally be full to capacity at this time of the year. With tourists basking in the December sunshine while taking in the breathtaking views of Kenya's wildlife and scenery. But the COVID-19 pandemic has left hundreds of hotel rooms empty, punching a blow to the country's tourism sector and forcing the government to re-strategize. So we in the government and the KWS, uh, we are coming with a clear strategy. How do we come and revamp Savo both Savo East, Savo West, and also now we will involve the conservancies around here to see how best we can be able to revive tourism in a big way here. The government also plans to digitize travel and tourism in Kenya, but is also challenging the tourism stakeholders to find ways to attract the local market to survive the heat of the pandemic. And as much as uh, COVID has created a challenge, it's an opportunity for us to think better, to also adjust. The domestic market is very important. So value the domestic market, both in pricing, in service, in experience, in product. The sector received a six billion stimulus package from the government to help it recover from negative impact of COVID-19 and provide soft loans to hotels and tourism players. Pilotino, NTV, Taita Taveta.